everyone's making the same mistakes. I don't understand it. I have solutions all over the place. You don't need to make the backyard mistakes that everybody else is making. Watch this video. You will have the solutions without the mistakes. So what's the first mistake you're making? Well, I hate to say it, but everything. People design their backyard in their minds or they see a photo and then they put everything in the wrong place. I'm not joking. It is everything they put in their backyard is in the wrong spot. They want a covered structure. So what do you do? They attach it to their house when they shouldn't. Or they put a freestanding structure because they like it, but they put it in the wrong spot. They put a fire pit and they think that's in the right spot, but it's not. It doesn't have the right flow. And then they try to put everything together and it doesn't work. An outdoor kitchen, they want it to close to their house, but it still it needs to be as a destination. The mistake you're making is not getting the design to, from the very start. And knowing the flow and knowing the principles behind good backyard design, that has to be your first thought. It has to, or else it can't help but being a mistake. Design is so important. Somebody that knows about design has to help you. If you don't know about it, then get somebody that knows. I want to be the person, but if it's not me, who cares? You just need to take the time to get a design first or else it's going to be a mistake. It's going to save you so much money. It's going to give you the confidence that you need to not make the mistakes. Backyard designer knows everything about backyard design. They've gone to school for it. They know how to connect it with nature. They know how to connect it. They're going to ask the questions to get you and your family outside and keep you outside. Without hiring a designer, you're, you are going to make mistakes. And I don't want that for you. It's a waste of money. And it's not going to be your backyard life that you really can have. Now take a look at this property. It's a perfect example of why you need a good design. It had been previously done by a professional landscaper. Look at the mistakes, the misuse of space, and there's no flow as everything is crowded into one small area. The fire pit even seems to be misplaced. There's no secondary destinations to draw you further out into the backyard, leaving so much untapped potential in this property. These homeowners just weren't satisfied and knew they wanted something different. They hired our design team and we came in with so many solutions using the principles of outdoor living design, which is so important. Using the sight lines from the house, we were able to create solutions that carry your eyes through the space, creating flow and connectivity from destination to destination. Following the style design of the house, we recommended a detached covered structure with a gable roof. The outdoor living space is now maximized and you can easily flow through the space from one destination to the next, not feeling cramped or overcrowded anywhere you choose to meander. Another major mistake that people make is they they see these covered structures and they want a covered structure, but then what they do is they take that structure and then they fill it with what they think is a destination, which would be like a hot tub. They'll put a hot tub right in the middle of the structure or a lot of people have a dining table right in the middle of the structure. Now, if you think about this, you've just dedicated a whole freestanding structure now to one purpose. It becomes a hot tub location, it becomes the dining location. That is a mistake. I want you to know that. In fact, that is the opposite of what you should do. Both of those items, the hot tub and the dining table, it needs to be on the outside of the structure, please. Now, the reason behind that is number one, the dining table is perfect for the summertime. You know, evening hours, that's where people are gonna be at around that dining table. If you need an umbrella around it for the sun or for the rain, put an umbrella up. That's your cover, not the structure. And the same thing with the hot tub. As you put a hot tub in, my favorite thing with my hot tub is being in there on a beautifully crystal clear night looking up at the stars. That's my favorite. I love it when it's freezing cold outside looking up at the stars. And that you, I would hate it if it was under a structure. People think about that cozy feeling of a hot tub under a structure, but it's really the opposite. The structure would inhibit it and I want a little bit of the, the cold and the warm environment. Anyways, a proper use of a structure would be what, we, what we're showing you fireplaces, outdoor kitchens, 
multiple destinations within that structure. That's what I want you to use for your covered outdoor space. Now, the exception to that rule is if you have a two room structure, then I want you to strongly think about adding the dining and the hot tub to that. But it has to be a true two room structure where you have all the outdoor living and you have that dedicated space for either the hot tub or that dining space. But it has to be that larger two room structure. Another large mistake that people traditionally make is they consider their backyards as more of the, the backyard landscape and they want to beautify the landscape. I want you to know the modern way is you want to think about your backyard as a backyard living space. So what's going to get you and your friends in your backyard using and enjoying that space, building memories together. And then the landscape would be a secondary part of the backyard living space as you enhance that living space by softening the backyard with the planting. And it becomes a complement to the backyard living space. In fact, a lot of times the plants are used as softening, but also as privacy screens. So I really want you to think about changing the old school, even landscape architects still think old school. They think plants first. I want you to think the opposite. I want you to think about the destinations, the living first, and then how you soften it with the landscape and enhance it with the landscape. Another monster mistake people make is they are still in the old school way of thinking about their backyards and they put everything, everything, like everything in their backyard right outside of the door. Like your dining, your, you know, your chairs, everything goes in one spot and then they just put grass in and planting. That's the old school way of thinking about your backyard. But I want you to not make that mistake and I want you to use your backyard. Every nook and cranny of your backyard, if you can, Think about, hey, can that be used as living space or not? So taking those thoughts of the things that you want, do you want a fire future, yes or no? Do you want the dining with a barbecue outdoor kitchen? Do, what, what do you want? Get the list together and then how can I maximize my backyard to live in and use all these items in? It doesn't have to be right outside of the door. In fact, I don't want it right outside of the door. I want you to get out and use your backyard to them and maximize your space. Remember it's backyard living and then you soften it after that. So take all that list, design it, figure it out where everything goes, soften it from there. And that will avoid making that traditional mistake of everything right outside of the backyard door. Okay, so we're talking about the mistakes and the biggest mistake you can possibly make is not getting a good 3D backyard design. I've said this already in this video, but I'm gonna stress it again. If you go with a traditional landscape designer, I have to tell you, I know this firsthand that a lot of landscape architects and landscape designers in general, they still teach that old school mantra. They'll give you a 2D design, the focus will be on the planting and you will think it looks beautiful in a 2D space, but really it's not gonna give you the backyard living experience that you want, that you crave. And that's what you need is that backyard living experience. So hire a backyard living designer. I can't tell you how many times that we get calls from people that have already got a design, they've already started with their project and they call us or they're on a call with us and I see it. And I just have to take that heavy sigh because it's not right. And they're in the middle of their build. So we have to kind of take a couple of steps back and help them to understand that, hey, you need this over in this spot. You don't need this here. But they can't visualize it because they're looking at a 2D rendering that they can't see in their mind's eye. You need to be able to visualize and see your space. If you can't see that space, then you're gonna make a mistake. And I don't want that for you. So it's a simple thing with the modern world. I want you to know this is just build it in 3D. So then you can see it and you can imagine yourself flowing through the space. In fact, look at this. We can even fly through the space and put people in there moving around and see the space designed, see the furniture, see how you're going to use the space. And that's what I really want you to understand is that you don't need to just try to visualize this in a 2D world. You can get it in a 3D world. Hey guys, I'm sitting here editing this video and I just wanted to jump in real quick. If you've made it to the end of this video, like you are right now, you probably really do need some help, some backyard living design help. And you maybe have already made a mistake with your backyard. You might be in the middle of it right now. I wanna let you know I can help you. This is okay. 
I can be just like I am. I'm on a camera right now. This is my webcam. It's probably not as good of a quality as you're used to, but I can just jump on a call with you and I can help you with your space. I can look at your backyard. It happens all day, every day. People send me video, people send me photos, or we can just look on your webcam and you can just take me on a little tour of your backyard and I can help you to pinpoint some of the mistakes that you might be making and make sure we solve those with good thought through design. Now, of course, I can just design and tell you what to do, or as this video stated many times, I can design the space for you. I'll have both of the links below on what we can do, either the one-on-one -on -one meeting with me, which is there'll be a link below, or the 3D design that we can do, that will also be linked below. One other thing that I wanna let you know, and if you made it this far, you are the first to know this, I'm flying over to see people. We're gonna be in San Jose, California next week or with a client, meeting them to look at their backyard, helping them through the space. I'm gonna be in New Jersey, maybe in about three to four weeks, and then I'm heading over to Austin, Texas. So I just wanna restate this. I can come to you. Of course, I can't come to everybody. I want to, I wanna help everybody, but I can only be so many places at once. Please, if you've seen the video this far, it means that you really do need help. Can you comment below and just say, I need help in where you're from and let me see if I can come visit you. Of course, we would love to be able to at least do the design or a one-on-one -on -one meeting with me. I want to, my true intentions are I want to help you in any way I can. Guys, to conclude this video, watch this video. You will be shocked at what good design did for this homeowner. They were thinking of something completely different and I was able to help them navigate to an unbelievable backyard. I know you're gonna enjoy it, so watch it there. Talk to you soon.